everyone and welcome. We use our fire pit year round, not just for hanging out on the patio, but also for cooking. Now we have no problem getting firewood. The problem with the firewood that I get is it's too big for our fire pit, so I have to split it down. Normally I just use my ax, but it's kind of getting to the point where it's tedious using the ax to split the wood. So I want to come up with an attachment from a high lift jack that I can use to split my wood with that won't cost me a lot of money or use a lot of fabrication. So that's what I'm going to do today. I found a piece of scrap metal, it's about 3 16 of an inch thick, and I figure if I come back about 6 inches, put a bend right here, then maybe an inch, and another bend right here kind of in a Z shape to kind of center it up on the jack, that this will work as my body for my splitter. I don't have a sheet metal brake, but I've got a tubing bender, and I'm thinking I could use it as a brake if I run a piece of angle iron through here, and then put my material through here and use that angle iron as a brake. All right, so I found that if I just put this in there with just the die and then jacked it up against the frame, the die would actually bend the metal pretty easy. So that gives me kind of my Z pattern that I was looking for. This piece right here will actually fit up against the jack, and then this will be my splitter, so that's more centered up with the jack. Now that I've got everything marked off, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off my angle grinder. the location from my mounting holes marked now I'm gonna drill them out I went through my bin and found a couple of nuts bolts and washers and these are not grade eight bolts they're just some bolts i'm going to try to use like for proof of concept after i get the edge of this sharpened up So I got my blade profile done. I want to see how far off I am as far as my blade goes. This is a piece of red oak that's been cut probably a month ago. I believe this is gonna work. I've now upgraded to 3 8 inch grade eight bolts 
and I've got a piece of quarter inch flat bar that I'm gonna weld across the back side of this to act as a brace to keep it from twisting so much. After giving my new design a test run, I was able to split some of this red oak, and I'm gonna try it again.
All right, so the wood splitter attachment for my high lift jack works really good, even on this wet red oak.